turning point was when Scientific American uh, published a cover story called The End of Cheap Oil. I think that's the first time I ever heard of Dr. Campbell's name. Uh, and, and, and I read the article and I thought, now this is a pretty simple thing to read. It doesn't sound terribly illogical if it's been 30 years. If we've been living on you know, more oil consumed every year than we found for 30 years, uh, I guess it's inevitable that sooner or later we were going to reach that. Uh, but, but then I couldn't understand why so many economists were so savagely attacking this guy as a nutcase. I still don't.